and a place of hopes for growth and bounty. Something else can be found here. Oh, mwah. Oh, this farm is incredible. It's like good for the soul. <laughs> Olenka Mackey is looking for peace in a time of war. I have never felt more Ukrainian than I do right now. Olenka is visiting this Arvada farm looking for eggs. A good smooth shell. I ask her not to wash them. I get them all nice and chickeny. <laughs> she wants them in their natural state to honor her ancestral country. It means even more to me because of what's going on in Ukraine. Now I feel almost a responsibility to uphold my uh, cultural heritage because I feel like it's being destroyed. So she creates. We write all of the designs in wax and then put it in the dye. Every year before Easter, Olenka paints eggs the Ukrainian way carefully etching her vision into a variety of shapes and colors. And then into the yellow dye. Ukrainian women start making these eggs at the beginning of Lent, and my grandmother is the one that taught me. Her grandmother Olena and her parents all escaped from Ukraine and Russian aggression in the 1940s. If we put the wax on too soon and it's still kind of damp, it can peel off. Olenka was born here. I grew up totally Ukrainian. I only spoke Ukrainian until I went to first grade. And ever since then, for more than 60 years. So now instead of an orange egg, we have a red one. She's been painting these ornate and precise designs with symbols that represent things like strength, eternity, and protection. And just the aroma of it, just the beeswax, the vinegar and the dyes, the slight smell of the eggs, all of that. Like I'm getting goosebumps right now because it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's such a precious memory and I can do this for hours. It's, it's almost like meditation. You know, there's just a certain peace that comes over me. Peace in a time of war. It's hard to explain how I can feel 100% American and 100% Ukrainian. Her Lakewood home is filled with Ukrainian art called Rizblenya, and it is carved and then painted. Art that she wants to preserve and pass down. A lot of this stuff exists in museums in Ukraine, and those museums are being demolished. Ukrainians all over the world are becoming extremely angry and holding on to their culture. I mean, we are determined. That's why she transforms these eggs and teaches others to do the same. Just like my grandma, she's been gone since 1984. And here I am still making eggs that I wouldn't be making them if she hadn't taught me. So Just because she's looking for peace doesn't mean she cannot fight. Watch it, this egg won't cooperate. With photojournalist Tom Cole, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.